Good morning everyone, welcome back to DEP TV Now I promise you something different in the pipeline So today we're going to be installing something in my daughter's car Which is sitting right there Today we're going to be installing this So first of all, what is it? It is a dash cam. It's not a really high priced dash cam. It can be bought on Amazon for a, around about 25 to 30 pounds. Um, but I have three. Well, we have three now. I have one in my work van. Uh, there's one in the wife's car. And I'm about to put one here in my daughter's car, which is a Skoda Fabia. It's a freezing cold morning today, so apologies if the lens gets messed up at any point. We'll try and sort that out as we go along. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you how I install them. Um, this one's going to be slightly different because I am going to use the, the cigar light or the power outlet um, socket for this one. I'm not going to hardwire this one at the moment. Um, they're hardwired and all the other ones. Uh, but I'm going to show you how we hide the, the cables. Um, where we're going to put the camera, how we're going to position the camera uh, we need it so that it's not going to distract you while you're driving but we also need it in a place where it's going to capture anything uh, that may happen while you're out driving on the road so we'll go through where we're going to situate it um, how we're going to hide the cables um, and we'll take it from there but first I'll cut back to a previous video that I did earlier on today uh, unboxing this and laying everything out so you can see what comes in the box Well, thanks for watching that wee bit and welcome back. So, hopefully, um, you're still here. Um, we're probably about five or six minutes into the video now, knowing me, because I just waffle on and talk a lot of rubbish. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to pick our spot for the camera. Um, so I'm going to show you how we do that. So first of all, I need to get the camera out of the box. So I'm going to do this one-handed because I've got a tripod in my hand holding this camera. 
So here we have the camera. This is the iWay dash cam, which looks like this. So what we need to do is we need to find a place where this is going to go. So if I can swap the This is a great tool using your mobile phone because mobile phone's got a camera on it. So we can, can I have an idea of where we want to put it so that we get the best view? So that there is probably a really decent view because uh, it's a wide angle camera on it anyway. And if I bring this camera back this way, I can show you exactly where I'm going to put the camera. So it's heading away from the driver who would sit there so it's not distracting them with any lights or anything like that so it'll sit it'll probably sit around about there but that means because it's there we can move the cables because there'll be two sets of cables coming out of it one for the rear camera so the cables will go up here and we'll run the cable underneath here along here to the end down into here and then down here and for the, for the camera at the back, it'll go along there, along to the back. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we want it so that there's no cable showing. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to start getting this ready and we'll catch everything that we're going to do.
So there you go, the camera is in, the cables are up into the headliner, they're heading away, they run right along and down here along the rubbers, all the way along the rubbers, so I'll show you that. So there's the camera it's in, it goes along the inside of the headliner, up over the rubbers, down the back of there, up through the rubbers again, there's a wee bit that I've missed so I need to push that in, so that along the rubbers, which then leads up to the back camera, which is situated inside the window. All we did with that was we cleaned this off here with some IPA just to make sure it's going to stick and it's not going to fall off and then we've run the cable down into the rubber here I need to find a way of making this look a little bit better I can you can get clips that stick onto the paint which will hold that there and we can hold that one down there and so on and so on but that's for a later date I don't have any of those at the moment there's my IPA take that out So that's it fully installed. Now what I did was I had it powered on when I was doing the wires uh, just to make sure everything was working with it as I was doing it in case I nicked a wire or anything. Another wee handy tip. The power wire comes down, goes underneath, underneath the back of the dash and pops out here. You remember this isn't a hardwired one. This is just going to be on with the, the power socket, so we'll push it in. Get two lights on the pings into life. And that brings up two views. It is constantly recording, it's sitting with a memory card in it. Uh, I will have to set the time and date still, but I'll get onto that shortly. Uh, you can have it in different viewing modes. I don't like that one, just the front, just the back, and multi, I usually keep it just on that one. Now originally I went, I planned to put it in behind the rear view mirror, unfortunately it couldn't do it because of this, it was too big, it wouldn't fit, um, so it's sitting just at the side, uh, hopefully it won't distract her, but you can turn the screen off if you need to. Um, in fact, so I think what we'll do is the now, we will go through it and um, see if we can change the time and the date. I'll nearly best that one. There we go. Date time, that's what we want, because that's the main one we want to get right. And we hit the OK button, which is over here. So we're OK with 2020. But we are in month 11. And we are on date 26. Oh, 26. Press OK. Now, there's an internal battery in this, so it does keep time. So what time is it? It's 10.42, so I want to bring this down, 10, okay, it's 43 now, okay, and one second we'll go with that, that's fine. And that's all done. So we should be able to come back out of that. And there you go. Time and date all set, ready to go. So guys, I'm gonna leave it at that just now. Um, it's a very fairly install. Um, you don't need any tools. You probably noticed I was using my fingers and for any of the cables that I just couldn't get with my fingers, I used it, I flipped open the key and use the key just to push it down. 
um, and as you can see everything's working absolutely fine it's not an x base it's not the top of the range it's about 25 30 quid on amazon i will put the links in the description down below um but it's uh, we've had no issues with them whatsoever we've got three of them now we've had absolutely no issues with them um and the picture quality has been great uh, and they've never let us down so that is our installation on the iway dash cam it has motion sensor 1080p g sensor uh, night vision wdr whatever the hell that is i don't know i don't care all i know is it works and it works perfectly fine for a fraction of the price of some of the really expensive stuff yes it's probably not as good quality but it's been absolutely perfect for whatever we've needed it for so i'm going to leave it at that guys if you've liked it please subscribe please hit the bell notification icon um please hit the thumbs up button uh, just i just thought i'd do something a little bit different just because i've got the opportunity today uh, so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you later on Try.